In 1965, an elderly gentleman stood on the deck of a freighter in Boston Harbor and wrote this prayer. How will I make them understand this message of Krishna consciousness? I am very unfortunate, unqualified, and the most fallen. Somehow or other, O oh Lord, you have brought me here to speak about you. Now, my Lord, it is up to you to make me a success or failure as you like. Twelve years later, Hare Krishna was a household word. A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada had been more than successful. He had founded the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, a worldwide confederation of over 100 ashrams, schools, temples, and farm communities, and had made the chanting of Hare Krishna familiar to millions of people. He had written and published over 80 volumes of translation and commentary on self-realization, which are now standard in universities and libraries around the world, and he had gathered about him thousands of dedicated disciples. Srila Prabhupada became known to the world as a scholar, philosopher, social critic, and spiritual leader. But to his disciples, Srila Prabhupada was dear most friend, father, and inner guide. The importance of the spiritual master to his disciples cannot be overstated. It is said that only by the mercy of the spiritual master can one receive the benediction of Krishna, and without the grace of the spiritual master one cannot make any spiritual advancement. So the disciple's entire life focuses on the spiritual master and his instructions. In this relationship, the activities of the spiritual master are of monumental importance to his devotees. A disciple finds meaning even in the smallest gesture. Wherever he traveled, Srila Prabhupada would emerge daily into the chill and quiet of the early morning, and cloaked in a warm wrap, he would take a lengthy stroll with an entourage of students, disciples, and guests. Some mornings would find Srila Prabhupada immersed in contemplation or a quiet appreciation of natural scenery. At other times, Srila Prabhupada would speak at great length and often with considerable intensity on various subjects. During these animated discourses, Srila Prabhupada would turn the profound Vedic philosophy into a practical cutting edge that penetrated every sphere of life and thought. The word acharya means one who teaches by example, and the following unedited footage provides an intimate glimpse into the exemplary life of Srila Prabhupada. To most people, the daily activities of a spiritual master are a mystery, and it is interesting to see how such an important historical figure conducted his everyday affairs. What emerges is an endearing portrait of an authentic spiritual personality. Is that escaping or it is internet? <laughs> that you work hard and give it to me, you enjoy. This is internet. This is not escaping. That is going on. The capitalists, they are engaging these rascals, asses, 
in the factory and he enjoyed life. So that is intelligence. They let these rascals work hard and make a nice part for us and we shall take advantage of it. This is intelligence. And it is called Ajagar Vritti. Uh, Ajagar Vritti, Ajagar means the big snake, it's called Ajagar. So this mouse, they make hole and want to live there. And the company is living, in the meantime the Ajagar comes, he eats that mouse and leaves country. <laughs> the hour is Ajagar Vritti. You work for the whole to live comfortably, but we take possession of the house and live comfortably.
जाय हम उस पाप परम मंगस परिभ्रा जलाचा जस्त करे श्री समाद अति धाम दिसर श्री गोस्वामी भगवान की जाय अनंत पूरी वचन में की जाय नामाचार्य श्री हरिदास साहब की जाय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर सुवाट आदि गौर भक्त में की जाय श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप अपना शाम खंड राधा खंड गिरी वचन की जाय वृंदावन धाम की जाय नवदीप धाम की जाय गंगा माई की जाए जमुना माई की जाए गुरु द्वारका धाम की जाए स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जाए और ग्लोरी सुधर सुंदर और ग्लोरी सुधर सुंदर थैंक यू वेरी मच This is a conversation between Maharaj Parikhit and Sukhdev Goswami. Maharaj Parikhit, five thousand years ago, he was the emperor of the whole world. Formerly, uh, up to five thousand years ago. The whole world was being controlled and ruled over by kings, whose capital was Hastinapur, New Delhi. Uh, there was only one flag, uh, only one ruler, one scripture, Vedic scripture, and. The uh, the Aryans, the Arya, they were the civilized persons. You, Europeans, Americans, you are also Aryans. Indo-European stock, Maharaj Tejasi, grandson of Maharaj Parikhit. He gave to his two sons the portion of Eastern Europe, Greek and Roman. That is the history. Mahabharat. Mahabharat means Great India. So there was no different religion. Uh, one religion, Vedic religion. Vedic religion means to accept the supreme personality of Godhead as the supreme person, absolute truth. This is Vedic religion. Those who have read Bhagavad Gita, it is said there in the fifteenth chapter. वेदिष्ट सर्वै अहमेव वेद्यम वैदिक नॉलेज मींस टू अंडरस्टैंड गॉड दिस इज वैदिक लेटर ऑन विद द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ कलियुग कलियुग मींस द डार्क एज और द सिंपल एज और द एज फॉर आर्गुमेंट unnecessary talks and fight this is called kali that is going on since the last 5000 years the kali jee has as uh, began and the beginning of kali jo was kaus lottery so at the present moment practically there is no brahmin no chhatriya No Vaishya, only Sudras, fourth class men. So you cannot expect any happiness guided by the fourth class men. That is not possible. Therefore, throughout the whole world, 
there is chaotic condition. Nobody is happy. Uh-huh. So this is essential that the human society must be divided into four divisions. The Brahmin class means the first class ideal man. So that by the seeing their character, their behavior, others will try to follow. Jajjadacharati <coughs> Sreshta. So this Krishna consciousness movement means we are trying to create some first class man. This is Krishna consciousness. This movement. So therefore we have got these rules and regulations. No illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. This is the preliminary qualification of a first class man. On our tape recorder here that we have. So, past, present, future. You exist, the body changes. Is it not clear? That's, that's clear. Yeah. So therefore, yeah. the conclusion that when he'll not have this body, he'll have another body. You are sitting here, if you don't sit here, you go. That does not mean you are sitting, uh, opportunity is lost. You are sitting here, you sit somewhere. Similarly, the change of body is going on. Therefore, the conclusion is that after you give up this body, you'll have another one, as you have already done. What is the difficulty to understand? The seeming difficulty is that one, um, while the body is different from that of a boy. Different body must be different. Therefore, that is called change of body. Unless it is a different body, where is the change? The memory is there, of the boy, mm-hmm. and or the. The spirit is there. Hmm. The memory, sometimes we may not remember. Uh, just like your this child, he may not have memory when he was very small, but you have got memory. You know, when he was a small child, you are doing something, or some do, he was playing with some cats and dog. But he does not remember that. But you remember it. So, simply because he has forgotten, does that mean that the incidences were not present? So this argument is not very strong because I cannot remember. You do not remember so many things. But the fact is this, that you are changing from this body to this body to this body. Therefore the conclusion should be, that after this body I will accept another body. And that's a fact. As you have accepted in this life from one body to another body, there is a process how to accept it. Similarly, under the same process, you accept another body when this body is no longer useful. Uh, Just like at night, you give up this body, you take your subtle body and you go somewhere. You are sleeping in your room, but you are working in a different place. Don't you do that? Mm-hmm. So, 
because the, this body is still useful, therefore you come to work again this body, and in the morning you wake up with this body. So death means when this body is useless, you do not come to this body, you accept another body. This is called death. That subtle body takes you from this body to the umba of another mother by nature's direction that this soul shall get this kind of body. So the soul is entered in the umba of another mother's body. And then the body is prepared by the mother's blood and flesh. And when the body is sufficiently capable of working itself, then it comes down, comes again and begins its work. This is birth and death. The soul is eternal. Therefore, a sober man should think, why should I change my body? Why this trouble I shall take? That is human sense. When if I am eternal, why not my eternal body? Eternal existence, why shall I die? This is human sense. Unless one comes to this understanding, he's animal. Because animal, by nature's law, is going on. He does not know. Then a human form of body, when he understands that I'll have to change this body, I'll have to get another body, then the question is, what kind of body I shall get? Uh, that is human intelligence. By nature's way, we are getting body, but that is on the selection of the nature according to my work. If I work like animal, I get animal body. If I work as demigod, I get demigod body. If I act as trees, huh? then you get tree body. If you acted like dog, you get dog's body, nature's way. Therefore you find so many varieties of body. This philosophy does not appeal naturally. I want to love. It is not unnatural. When that love is reposed to Krishna, that is what the Mahavadi that frustrated. Therefore, they want to make this love into jiva. They cannot understand Krishna's love with gopis. They think it is another edition of this material. How are you? Are you with Prabhu? How are you? You look better. You are looking better, brighter, when I saw you living last night. We have got so much talents for serving Krishna. Everyone has got that I am speaking. We are doing today. Oh!
so that modern man can understand. Otherwise, we are repeating himself. We are repeating also the same thing. Sense gratification. Punak punak char vita char banana. But because that is material, they are not getting happiness. But the spiritual thing, we are chanting the same Hare Krishna simply, repeating, but we are getting transcendental peace. What we are doing? Same Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So, process is the same, the subject matter is different. So why you are behind publication? Now all the big men are here. Why our books are behind? So if we uh, wait for another bar, maybe you may not get even Bharat Maharaj. Uh, he also slipped, he became a deer. So we should always keep vigilant. We have got this opportunity, human form of life. Let us utilize it to the fullest extent and be fit for going back to our That is intelligence. Not that all life I suggest again chance next month. That is not very good for this. Turnam. Turnam means uh, very hastily. Finish. Turnam jatita anamuttu pasita yavat. These people are wasting time. They are resounding with some sound, thinking that this sound will say, This is our foolishness, Mura. Why you are sounding so loudly, chanting? Feel up. Mr. Kalpa, I give Bhakti Note the core meaning that I'm going my work unfinished. And Bhakti Note the core stated that he was leaving this planet with his work unfinished. Let us finish. We are descendants of Bhakti Note. We get and finish so that we shall get the chance to finish. <laughs> that is his mercy. He could have finished immediately. His Vaishnava, the all part. Aptasakalana gunana basha Bandi gura sita ranara dinam Mahaprabhu kita nanita gita 